Infrastructure in India is undergoing a remarkable transformation. From expansive trade routes to cutting-edge technology cities, ambitious megaprojects are being planned and executed that will redefine urban growth, sustainability, and engineering excellence. These projects represent not just physical development, but also India's aspirations as a global economic powerhouse. Let's explore 10 of the most impressive Indian megaprojects currently under development, each contributing to the nation's infrastructure revolution in unique ways. Number 1. Bharatmala Project The Bharatmala Project stands as one of India's most comprehensive highway development initiatives designed to enhance the national road network and improve accessibility to towns and trade routes across the country. As a cornerstone of the government's strategic plan to integrate rural and remote areas into the national economy, this ambition this project aims to construct 26,418 kilometers of roads connecting ports, border areas, and economic corridors through a seamless network. The project is structured in multiple phases, with the first phase targeting around 34,800 kilometers of road development. Beyond merely connecting regions, Bharat Mala will significantly reduce travel time, enhance logistics efficiency, stimulate economic development in previously underserved regions, and generate substantial employment opportunities across various sectors. With an estimated investment of 6.22 trillion Indian rupees, approximately $75 billion, the project commenced in 2017 and is scheduled for completion by 2027. The massive scale of Bharat Mala has created employment for over 200,000 people, including construction workers, logistics planners, architects, and engineers from diverse backgrounds. The project emphasizes quality and durability, utilizing advanced materials such as geotextile reinforced concrete and high-strength asphalt to ensure long-term sustainability. The economic impact of Bharat Mala extends far beyond transportation. By reducing logistics costs from the current 13 to 14 percent of GDP to around 8 percent, it will boost India's manufacturing competitiveness globally while creating access to markets for previously isolated regions. Number 2. Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor The Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor represents a strategic economic development initiative spanning 560 kilometers, connecting Chennai, India's automotive manufacturing hub, to Bangalore, the country's renowned Silicon Valley. This comprehensive corridor integrates specialized skill development centers, industrial parks, and sophisticated logistics hubs designed to foster regional economic growth. The corridor's primary objectives include modernizing industrial infrastructure, facilitating job creation in high-value sectors, and improving inter-regional trade through enhanced connectivity. Its development is expected to generate over 2.2 million jobs and significantly boost the manufacturing output of the region. Key components of this corridor include the Tumakuru Industrial Area, spanning 9,884 acres. The Poneri Node near Chennai covering 13,581 acres, the Outer Ring Road providing critical connectivity, the Bangalore-Chennai Expressway reducing travel time between the cities, and the Krishnapatnam Industrial Node integrating port facilities with manufacturing. These developments collectively aim to strengthen regional industries with particular focus on biotechnology, electronics, aerospace, and automotive manufacturing. Currently under construction, the corridor represents an investment exceeding 180 billion Indian rupees, $2.16 billion, and has created employment for over 100,000 workers, including construction laborers, urban planners, engineers, and architects. The project utilizes advanced construction techniques and materials, including high-quality concrete, prefabricated steel structures, and energy-efficient systems that minimize environmental impact. Once completed, the corridor is expected to increase the region's GDP by approximately 2 to 3 percent and establish southern India as a premier investment destination for global manufacturers. Number 3. Gift City Gujarat International Finance Tech City Gift City exemplifies India's bold ambition to establish itself as a global technology and finance hub. Spanning 866 acres near Gandhinagar in Gujarat, this futuristic city is designed as India's first operational smart city and international financial services center. The development features cutting-edge infrastructure, including modern high-rise towers, district cooling systems, automated waste management, underground utility 
tunnels and a direct connection to major transportation networks. The International Financial Services Center at Gift City operates as a global financial hub, offering competitive tax incentives and a regulatory environment designed to attract foreign investment. The IFSC houses international banks, insurance companies, and financial technology firms, positioning India as a competitor to established financial centers like Singapore and Dubai. With a total investment of approximately 640 billion Indian rupees, $7.7 billion, Gift City represents one of India's most ambitious urban development projects. Initiated in 2011, significant structures have already been completed and are operational, including the International Financial Services Center, the Gift One Tower, and several residential and commercial complexes. The project has created employment for over 50,000 professionals, including IT specialists, financial experts, construction workers, engineers, and urban planners. Environmental sustainability forms a core principle of Gift City's development with energy-efficient glass facades, advanced HVAC systems, and comprehensive fiber broadband infrastructure. The city implements a district cooling system that reduces energy consumption by 30% compared to conventional cooling methods. When fully operational, Gift City aims to generate over 500,000 direct jobs and contribute significantly to Gujarat's and India's economic growth. Number 4. Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor The Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor DMIC, is one of the world's largest infrastructure projects, spanning 1,483 kilometers between Delhi and Mumbai, India's political and financial capitals. This visionary project aims to develop a high-tech industrial zone along the western dedicated freight corridor, creating a model for sustainable industrial development. The corridor will feature 24 smart cities, multiple freight corridors, and specialized business hubs designed to enhance industrial efficiency, attract foreign investment, and reduce transportation costs. Each node along the corridor focuses on specific industries based on the region's natural advantages and existing industrial ecosystems. With a budget of 175 billion Indian rupees, 2.11 billion, for initial development, the project began in 2006 and has progressed significantly, with several industrial nodes already operational. The project has engaged thousands of skilled professionals, including engineers, logisticians, architects, and urban planners who have worked to ensure sustainability and efficiency. The construction utilizes advanced materials including steel composite structures and implements green building technologies to minimize environmental impact. The DMIC is expected to increase India's manufacturing output by $100 billion annually when fully operational and create approximately 3 million jobs across various sectors. The project also aims to triple industrial production and quadruple exports from the region in the next decade. Number 5. Narmada Valley Development Project the Narmada Valley Development Project represents India's comprehensive approach to water resource management and rural development. Unlike the previously mentioned urban industrial projects, this initiative harnesses the Narmada River Basin in Madhya Pradesh and neighboring states for multiple purposes, including electricity generation, water supply, irrigation, and flood control. The project involves constructing 30 major dams, 135 medium dams, and 3,000 minor dams along along the Narmada River and its tributaries. The centerpiece of this development is the Sardar Saravar Dam, one of India's largest and most controversial water infrastructure projects. The comprehensive network of reservoirs and canals will eventually irrigate 1.8 million hectares of land, transforming arid regions into productive agricultural areas, spanning multiple states including Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Rajasthan, the project will convert water-scarce regions into green energy hubs while significantly improving agricultural productivity. The estimated investment totals 790 billion Indian rupees, $9.48 billion, with foundation work commencing in 1979 and final completion expected by next year. The project has employed thousands of professionals including civil engineers, environmental scientists, hydrologists, and agricultural experts. Beyond its physical infrastructure, the Narmada Valley Development Project aims to improve living standards for millions of rural residents through enhanced water security and agricultural productivity. Number 6. Mumbai Ahmedabad 
High Speed Rail Corridor, the Mumbai Ahmedabad. High Speed Rail Corridor represents India's first venture into bullet train technology, aiming to revolutionize intercity transportation. This prestigious project will connect Mumbai to Ahmedabad, a distance of 508 kilometers, in just under two hours compared to the current journey time of seven to eight hours. Utilizing Japanese Shinkansen technology, renowned for its speed, reliability, and impeccable safety record, the project will feature trains operating at speeds of 320 kilometers per hour. The corridor will include 12 stations, with approximately 92% of the track elevated to minimize land acquisition challenges and ensure operational efficiency. Beyond accelerating travel, the project aims to boost regional economic development, transfer advanced railway technology to India, and reduce carbon emissions by providing an environmentally friendly alternative to air and road travel. The corridor is expected to carry 36,000 passengers daily initially, with capacity eventually increasing to 186,000 passengers. The project is estimated to cost 180 billion Indian rupees, $2.16 billion, with 81% of the funding coming through a long-term loan from Japan. Initiated in 2000. 2017 after agreements between India and Japan, the corridor is scheduled for completion by 2028. The project has created employment for thousands of Indian and Japanese workers, including construction laborers, engineers, and technical specialists. Construction utilizes high-quality steel, precision tracks, and earthquake-resistant viaducts to ensure safety and operational reliability. The project incorporates advanced noise reduction technologies and has been designed to minimize environmental impact through its alignment and construction methods. Number 7. Dolera Special Investment Region Dolera Special Investment Region DSIR, represents India's ambitious vision for developing next-generation urban centers. Planned as India's largest greenfield smart city covering 920 square kilometers in Gujarat, Dolera will feature comprehensive internet-connected infrastructure, eco-friendly services, and extensive renewable energy integration, including solar farms. The city is designed as a sustainable development hub with integrated water management, waste to energy facilities, and comprehensive public transportation networks. Its development follows a carefully structured plan with six town planning schemes and specialized economic zones targeting sectors, including electronics manufacturing, aviation, defense, and renewable energy. The Smart City project costs approximately 200 billion Indian rupees, $2.4 billion for initial development. Construction began in 2015 and continues today, with significant progress on trunk infrastructure and several phases completed. The development incorporates sustainability-focused building materials, solar panels, IoT-enabled systems, and advanced water recycling technologies. When fully developed, Dolera is expected to host a population of 2 million and generate employment for 800,000 people. The city will be connected to major urban centers through an expressway, metro rail, and proximity to international airports, establishing it as a major economic hub in western India. Number 8. Central Vista Redevelopment Project The Central Vista Redevelopment Project represents India's ambitious effort to modernize its administrative core while honoring its rich heritage. Based in New Delhi, this urban renewal project encompasses the redevelopment of India's central administrative area, including the construction of a new parliament building, the consolidation of government offices, and the enhancement of public spaces. The project aims to address the functional inadequacies of existing structures, many of which were built during the colonial era and now struggle to meet contemporary requirements. The new parliament building, designed to accommodate the expanded needs of India's democracy, features a triangular shape symbolizing the democratic principles of equality and inclusion. Initiated in 2020 with a budget of approximately 150 billion Indian rupees, $1.7 billion, the project is expected to be completed around 2026. It has employed thousands of construction workers, architects, designers, and engineers. The development utilizes traditional materials like red and white sandstone, marble, and indigenous stone to preserve India's cultural identity while incorporating modern technologies for energy efficiency and operational sustainability. The Central Vista project symbolizes India's blend of respect for tradition with forward-looking governance. 
The redevelopment includes the creation of extensive public spaces, museums celebrating India's democratic journey, and underground transit connections to reduce surface congestion. Number 9. Zojila and Srinagar Leh Tunnels The Zojila and Srinagar Leh tunnels represent critical infrastructure development in India's mountainous northern regions, designed to improve connectivity between Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir. These engineering marvels will facilitate all-weather access through the region's challenging terrain, which is currently inaccessible during winter months due to heavy snowfall. The Zojila Tunnel, at 13.5 kilometers, will be Asia's longest bi-directional tunnel, constructed at an altitude of 3,000 meters above sea level. Together with the Srinagar Leh Tunnels, the project spans approximately 28 kilometers of mountainous terrain, incorporating advanced ventilation systems, emergency evacuation facilities, and intelligent traffic management systems. These tunnels will dramatically reduce travel times. The journey from Srinagar to Leh will be reduced by four to five hours and ensure year-round connectivity to regions previously isolated during winter. This improved accessibility will boost the local economy through enhanced tourism and trade opportunities. With a combined cost of 2.8 trillion Indian rupees, construction is ongoing and faces significant engineering challenges due to the geological complexity of the Himalayan region. The project employs thousands of specialized workers, including geologists, construction laborers, and tunneling experts who utilize advanced boring techniques and reinforcement methods to ensure structural integrity. Built to withstand seismic activity and extreme weather conditions, these tunnels will serve as crucial strategic assets for India, enhancing defense mobility and improving the quality of life for residents in these remote regions. Number 10. Navi Mumbai International Airport The Navi Mumbai International Airport represents a critical expansion of India's aviation infrastructure designed to address the growing congestion at Mumbai's existing Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. Strategically positioned to handle 90 million passengers annually when fully operational, this Greenfield Airport will span 2,866 acres and feature two parallel runways, enabling simultaneous operations. The airport aims to alleviate Mumbai's air traffic congestion and establish India as a significant international aviation hub, competing with major airports in Dubai, Singapore, and Bangkok. The development includes modern cargo facilities, eco-friendly terminal buildings, and state-of-the-art navigation systems. With an investment of approximately Approximately 167 billion Indian rupees, 2.1 billion dollars. Construction began in 2010 and has progressed significantly, despite challenges related to land acquisition and environmental clearances. The first phase is expected to be operational soon, with capacity to handle 20 million passengers annually. The project has created employment for tens of thousands of engineers, architects, aviation experts, and construction workers. The airport utilizes advanced advanced building materials, including soundproof glass, high-quality concrete, and intelligent lighting systems to ensure operational efficiency while minimizing environmental impact. Sustainable design elements include rainwater harvesting, solar energy integration, and waste management systems. Once fully operational, the Navi Mumbai International Airport will transform mobility within and beyond India, supporting the country's growing aviation sector and facilitating international commerce and tourism. These 10 mega-projects collectively represent India's comprehensive approach to infrastructure development, addressing diverse needs from transportation and industrial growth to urban development and resource management. With investments totaling trillions of rupees and employment generation in the millions, these projects are reshaping India's physical landscape while propelling its economic growth. The scale and ambition ambition of these developments reflect India's determination to build world-class infrastructure that can support its aspirations of becoming a $5 trillion economy. As these projects progress toward completion, they will not only transform India's infrastructure capabilities, but also enhance its global competitiveness and improve quality of life for its citizens.